Hello, Troria Enthusiasts. My name is James, and I was looking this up earlier, but this month is actually the four-year anniversary of me doing Terraria news. Like, I've been doing this for four years now. It's kind of crazy. And when I started, I started with a little show I called Terraria Talk. And something that's going on in the community recently is really making me reminiscent of that show. So in Terraria Talk, what I would do is I would start every episode by taking a look at all of the silly little screenshots that people had shared about what the developers were saying in various sources of Terraria. Now, these were like tiny, tiny screenshots of them saying just like the most absurd obscure little things like hey we're gonna add moss into the game like moss like when you look at it now like it means nothing like moss do you ever pay attention to it but back then it was so important to me and after we take a look at like i don't know like five ten screenshots we would do this thing where me and my friend waffles we would sit and draw a bunch of ideas that the community were currently sharing about what they wanted in the next update and it seems that recently on Reddit, we've seen this big upsurge of like really meme kind of Senex pictures <laughs> popping up and then a bunch of like next update ideas. So I wanted to run you guys through some of these brilliant little jokes that have been going on <laughs> on Reddit. And I just want to show you them because I feel like if you don't go to the Terraria subreddit, like you won't see these. And honestly, I think they're pretty brilliant. And it's just Senex just trolling people, but there is a little bit of truth in every one. So this is the first one. This is from Senex. Le Jour has a new NPC he has been trying to get into the game for a year. She looks pretty cool. And this is actually for 1.3.6. This is not actually for 1.3.4. Really cool though, isn't it? Like that looks... Well, it sounds interesting. It doesn't look like anything, but it sounds really interesting. I'm cool for a new NPC. I mean, we haven't had a new NPC in like like a year and a half sounds good and then this one this is the next one yeah we're about to start a new set soon Laz has a base concept for the blocks down so once again this is 1.3.6 this is kind of like a jokey kind of thing but it's kind of real like we are actually getting a new set of furniture pretty awesome once again and then this one 1.4 will have new blocks thank you senex <laughs> thank you for that one there's going to be so many blocks and i'm excited <laughs> and then there was this one about throwing classes will never be expanded yeah so a lot of people want the throwing class to be like a big thing it isn't they said that you would need to rebalance a lot of other things to get it to work so yeah sorry throwing class but yeah that's kind of swept under the rug and it doesn't stop there 1.4 will have new stuff <laughs> that's next it will have new stuff sounds great right what next the next your mom. <laughs> but that's it. Senex is once again trolling the uh, Terraria unofficial Discord and then people just reposting it to Reddit. Honestly, it's been making my day reading some of these. But I thought I would actually take a look at some of the ideas you guys have been sharing. Since Senex and the Terraria team actually tweeted about this, a lot of people have been coming to Reddit to share their ideas. They've actually made a bunch of sprites to go along with it. So the ones who have put in the most effort, we're going to look at them today and kind of rate them on a the system and just see how they kind of stack up with what I would add to the game. Okay, this one's from Skellingnon. This is a pre-hard mode flamethrower called the Flame Splitter. I always love when people make their own little, like, they even write down the damage and everything when they're making their own little fan items. I think this is pretty cool. I see this top comment is, I would love this with the Slime Rain event. It's much easier to get gel, but one problem is using it for nothing. Right, that would be pretty cool, though. I, w I would like that. Maybe it would be a cool little rare drop during the slime event. I would be pretty game for that. You know, try and make the actual, um, you know, flame kind of small. And maybe do, like, maybe it doesn't pierce. Maybe it just leaves, like, an afterburn. I don't know. But that seems pretty cool. I'm pretty happy about that. Uh, once again, though, I like that they made their own sprite. And then the next one, I really like this one. Uh, this is the first one I saw, and I was like, Yes! Terraria 1.3.6 idea. Combine the Frost Spark boots and the Lava Waders into the Hell Spark boots. Now, I think I just really like this because the sprite is pretty baller. Kind of reminds me of a kind of Sonic running at lightning speed with flames behind him. But I guess it makes a lot of sense. And the sprite, honestly, the sprite just makes it look cool. It reminds me of like 1.2 days when like adding new boots was all the rage. Damn, I really like it. And then I looked at this one. I like this one. Uh, I think range needs more pre-hard mode armor sets. <laughs> I love the picture of the bee. <laughs> I love it. Like, 
<laughs> yeah, that one was just good for the B, to be honest. <laughs> and then what else? There was one more that I really liked. It was about the uh, the Reddit. Here we go. This is it. A Reddit vanity set. I just really liked that. That's actually an older picture from Malabar One. But honestly, just looks so good. But there you go, guys. There's a bunch of ideas. There's a bunch of trolls. I uh, I waited until a lot of these came out so I could talk about them because it's not real news, let's be honest. It's just a few little fun screenshots. But hey, it's good to have a little laugh at. Like I say, if you're not on the Terraria subreddit yet, I'll leave a link in the description. You can stay up to date with what people are sharing. Maybe you can post your own ideas. I think that'd be pretty cool. And then you can kind of get a back and forth going on your idea, tweak it, maybe even make a mod if you have the free time. Right, that's going to be it for today's episode. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.